Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how I am installing LED lights to my AXN floater by uh, Hobby King. Now this is not exactly a tutorial, this is just a documentation of how I am installing my lights, but you can use this as a tutorial. Uh, before we start, this is what I use to install the lights. Cuttable LED light strips. These are not the waterproof versions, but I would recommend waterproof. getting the waterproof version. I'm not sure why I did not get the waterproof version, but this is what I got. JSTXH to JST leads 4. This will connect to your balance charger and this will collect, connect to the LEDs. Male JST battery pigtails. This came in the pack of 10 for this project. I will need 4 since this connector here only has 4 JST. A soldering iron with tin to solder. A 2200 milliamp LiPo battery. I also have an 1800 milliamp LiPo battery. Both of them are 3 cell and I will be using the balance collect connector to connect to power my LEDs. A scissors. This is to properly cut my LEDs and maybe strip my wires but my soldering iron kit came with wire strippers. Um, if you don't have a wire strippers, you can use your scissors. And last but not least, I have my AXN floater by Hobby King. Yeah, so as you can see, I kind of sort of messed it up. I crashed, broke the plane here and down the middle, and also I broke the plane here. But yeah, hot glue, and it's back up to no, back up to speed that's just the fuselage here are my wings originally I had tried to put some ribbon on my wings so that I can see it better in the turns and I don't lose the plane in the profile but this doesn't help too much so I would most likely be taking my ribbon off and putting my LEDs on Okay, I have turned my video light down a bit. Let me demonstrate the effect that I want to go for. So this is my cell phone uh, flashlight and I'm shining and I want to shine my LEDs through the foam. As you can well, we have some uh, tape and stuff here. I'll have to watch out for that. But as you can see, LEDs shine through the airplane doesn't shine through the black and because I have ribbon because I have ribbon on the other side it shows through as red I don't know I don't know what I'll do but I have shot the intro for this video last so you guys know what the outcome will look like I don't at this moment in time that's funny let's get started before we cut our LED strips to length we should first visually inspect our airplane this is the Hobby King AXN and I am going to look and see where my LEDs are going to go okay so I have removed a strip of ribbons along the wing my decals don't like the tape so that's what that is Alright, now I'm going to measure out a length. Actually, I should probably cut the um, LED first. I'll just cut off this lead. Uh, when you're cutting your cuttable LEDs, haha, <laughs> oh, that was so funny. When you're cutting your cuttable LEDs, ensure that you cut on this line. Oh, please, come on. Yeah, make sure you cut on that line. So. And now I'm going to measure and cut. It's 
since I have decided to go LED up on my wings, I am going to remove the adhesive backing and stick them to my wings. Okay, now I will repeat this process for my other wing. I have attached LEDs to both of my wings and I have decided I would run the LED through the airplane uh, from the battery compartment out th through this exhaust here and run into the back the horizontal stabilizers the LEDs for the horizontal stabilizers they fit nicely under the rudder but I kinda have a problem could I power my LEDs let's see see if I can get closer can I power my LEDs like this well obviously I'm not gonna put it exactly like this but could I maybe run a wire from this to the middle I am not sure this is what I've come up with so far and this will be really neat because the inside of the plane will be illuminated this is a little bit of a half and half the inside only here will be illuminated and then the wings the horizontal stabilizer and whatever will be illuminated I will not put any LEDs on my rudder slash vertical stabilizer okay now I'm going to solder my JST pigtails to my LEDs. Now these LEDs are RGB LEDs and to get whatever color I desire I would have to solder my positive lead or my red wire to the plus 12 volts at the top and then if I want green I solder my negative end to the G. If I want red which I want on this wing I will put I will solder my negative end to the R. If I want blue, which I will do along my fuselage and yes, I want to do that along my fuselage. Ha! I just thought of something I want to do for a horizontal stabilizer. Anyway, if I want blue, I will solder my negative lead to the blue. Since this wing is a left wing and I'm going with the FAA navigational lights, um, I will solder my negative lead to the red and obviously my positive lead is going to the plus 12 volts on my right wing haha <laughs> right wing whoops green I want this wing to be illuminated in green so my negative lead will be on the G and my positive lead will be on the plus 12 volts um, this is my gonna be my first time soldering and yeah I wouldn't show you that process I'll just cut to when it's done Alright, so I have well, uh, not welded, haha, <laughs> soldered my JST pigtails to my LED strips and I just realized that I have one of these. This is what I use to power my transmitter and this has a JST connector here. So I'm going to plug my JST connector to my uh, LEDs to check to see if they work. So first I'm going to try with the red with on the left wing which would be my red LEDs this should light up red all right that's bright well not really bright but let me turn off my light now I'm going to plug my LEDs in and tada the LEDs are lit this is my hand and let's turn back on that light Let's see if I can turn it down some. Yeah, okay, this is as much as this is low, the lowest setting I can turn my light down. And yes, my LEDs are lit. Now for my green LEDs. Plug in. Ta-da! Green LEDs are lit. Let's turn off my light. Lights are off. Green LEDs are lit. Very nice. Oops. Yes, there we go. I'm going to unplug it so I just figured out how I can possibly do this for my horizontal stabilizer of course I will weld more pigtails to the front and I only use one now for the rear let's turn my light up some this looks kind of dark yeah now for the rear to power my uh, horizontal stabilizer I will cut my LEDs in two the horizontal stabilizer here I'll cut it in two then I'll run some wires 
going across. So that way I can have red on the left for my uh, horizontal stabilizer over here and green for the right which is my horizontal stabilizer over here. So what I'll do a Y connection or a well, I don't know what this is called. I have deal dealt with circuits since primary school. All right, so I have installed the LEDs, all of them. I have LEDs on the wing. Um, I think I've shown you that already, but this is the fuselage. The connector, the lead will be over here, runs through the airplane, comes out on the outside, this is shining blue and I have green over here and red over here. How I did this, I used, I did a parallel circuit. Let's see if I can zoom in. Alright, so freeze frame on that. I have, so this is red. I have a positive lead coming out, the 12 volts coming out from uh, the main Think from the fuselage, 12 volts comes out here. Negative is going to the red. Um, this wire was this wire was a bit too short, so I soldered another wire to it. And over here, another positive lead, the 12 volts lead from the fuselage comes over here. And we have this side is red, so the negative lead is going to the red. And both of the negatives have gone back. Both of the negatives have gone back over here to the blue. Now let me show you what the plane looks fully lit. Okay, I'm going to plug in my transmitter lipo to the front of the airplane where the reddest where the lead is for this, and you will see both of these light up. So here we go. Ta-da! Like Christmas. Uh, this is blue and green red it worked brilliantly now uh, I have to punch a hole through my canopy so that I can run this and I can have these leads come out from inside where this will be connected to this so let's get that done now okay so I have finished assembling the plane I was right to redo uh, up here because as you can see uh, these contacts are not inside of the plane they're outside i burnt a hole through the canopy with my soldering iron i burnt the hole big because i thought i would have to put all four connections through i did not think it prop did not think through the process properly i only needed two connections on the outside and these wires are long enough that they can fully come in. So the JST plugs did not need to be on the outside. And I burnt the hole big enough for four JST plugs to be on the outside. And four wires are coming in. So yeah. Alright. Now to connect the four JSTs to uh balance lead to my balance lead and let's see how all of them light up now oh wow that's beautiful all right let's zoom out and let's just tilt let's just tilt up Ta-da! And I did it correctly. Green, green, red, red, and I have blue running down the fuselage. And the blue is also on the inside. Uh, let's, let's not see that anymore. Blue is on the inside just a little bit. Um, let me turn off my video light. Right, you can see green, red. Oh, this is a bit awkward. And the blue. Yeah, this is the bottom of the fuselage. 
So yeah, this worked out very nicely. All right, that's my documentation of me putting LED lights on my AXN floater by Hobby King. Uh, tell me what you think about the video in the comments down below. Uh, any questions you have, also leave them in the comments. I am more than happy to answer any questions because research for this video was a very frustrating two weeks. Yeah, I spent two weeks stressing about this. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.